Hey guys, so today we're gonna be working on a model, which is really cool. It's uh, smooth to textured to smooth transition. And it's usually used like for handles and maybe like, you know, a light or a flashlight. So let's go ahead and get right into it. It's actually pretty simple once you know how to use it. So this is the CAD model of how it looks like. And we start off by obviously just a regular cylinder. And then we have the transitional phase. Then we just have an extrusion and then we just mirror the parts on the other side. So let me show you the sketch real quick so that you get the idea of how it's done basically. And as you can see, it's pretty simple. It's just moving up the sketch in the plane and let's get right into it. So we sketch a circle off the bat and uh, we just have to move it up. And then for this, I'm gonna choose 100 millimeters and uh, just, be oh, it's too much. Uh, let's go 100 millimeters and we don't need it too big because 100 millimeters fits in your hand quite well, you know, so we're gonna go ahead and use that. And we move it up, make sure you click that copy function and it's gonna be 100 millimeters. So we have the same in both directions. And after that, we need to move it up again, but this time let's do like 150. So we have a smoother transition because the longer you go, the smoother the, smoother the transition will be. Just keep that in mind. So if it's really short, it's gonna look a little weird. All right, and now we go ahead and do the texture. And in this case, you can use any shape you want for the sketch, but we're gonna go with circle just to make it a smooth and uh, rounded edge everywhere, as you saw in the picture in the beginning. But uh, basically what we need to do is use the pattern tool, or you can do this manually, but just pattern tool makes it easier. Uh, and go ahead and around, turn it around 360 degrees, which is a complete circle. And we're gonna choose the number that works for us. So let's start with 15. And I think we can use a couple more, um, maybe one down, let's do one more. So I think 18 would be the perfect circle here. As you can see, it kind of fits everything pretty nicely. And after this, it's really simple. All you do is you loft or you extrude and depending on the step. So for this step, we can do either loft as you can see here, or if we undo that, we can go ahead and just pull up from the circle sketch. Uh, if you know the size. But for the second step here, we absolutely need to use the loft because we have this transitional phase here that they need to like, you know, combine the two shapes and loft is great for that. So as you can see, we have our smooth transition. And for this part, we can simply extrude this by either using the tool or if we hide the model underneath, we can simply pull up from the sketch. So it's up to you how you want to do it, whatever saves you time on your specific project. But there's more, usually more than one way to do a certain step in Shaper. And I love that, that there's like awesome tools that you can utilize for the same function, even though in a different way. So after this, all we need to do is mirror it. As you can see, I cut that model in half because once we mirror it, it's going to make a double. So I don't, I didn't want it to be too long. Now we go ahead and choose the mirror and we select that edge and we have our little thing. And then if you want, you can union this, but we're gonna go directly into the materials page just so I can show you how smooth it looks and that it actually functions correctly. And you can choose the best material you want just to showcase your product. Uh, let's go ahead and just choose a random one. Uh, as you can see in some materials, it's harder to see because the light is not absolutely perfect in, you know, in materials yet. But if we go ahead and choose something else, let's say, uh, anodized metal or powder coated. There's, this looks perfect. You can absolutely see it here. <coughs> Excuse my voice, I am so sick right now, but at least this gave me a chance to make you guys this cool tutorial. Hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Congratulations on making it this far. You guys are gonna do great. Here at J Lake 3 d our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more. See you again soon.